Hi guys, welcome to the new tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to learn how to do a basic print. Now what you require for this tutorial is you require the basic tools uh, that have been sent to you with your information pack. You require RJ59 crimp, stripper, BNC connectors and of course RJ59 cable. Now I gotta explain to you um, how the stripper work and there are a lot of strippers in the market but I reckon to buy uh, something like this one quite pretty decent stripper and um, how it works is that it got uh, blades um, inside uh, it's got three blades and um, they are in different sizes uh, or different uh, depth and then you could adjust them through this Allen case uh, so when you buy this um, stripper that you would get a key then you could then just uh, blade depth how depth it should cut now I'm going to strip this cable now when you strip the cable um, you've got to pay uh, more attention uh, to the length that you're going to strip this cable it shouldn't be more or it shouldn't be less when you buy strippers it does give you some sort of idea about the length that you should strip the cable now it says 8 and 4 so that's 12 millimeters When you keep this cable to strip, um, just make sure that you could see some part of the cable. I'm going to use the same measurement. Um, it's 8 and 4. So if you could see that uh, 8 and 4, then I'm going to leave the cable a bit outside. Um, so you can see I've, I've left around uh, 2 mil or 2 to 3 mil. It's, it's perfectly fine. Um, so now I'm going to strip this cable. Just going to twist it one two three depends how de uh, the, the depth setting that you're doing with a stripper and um, sometimes you might need to do three twists before you completely uh, strip the cable or sometimes you might only need to do two twists so i'll strip the cable so i'll take the first bit out now you can see the inner conductor the copper one and uh, the second i'm just not going to take the whole thing out it's just a slave I'm going to twist this coppers together. That's it, we're done. So what left now is is to uh, connect the BNC connector uh, to this cable. Uh, there are different types of BNC connectors, uh, but this is the pretty basic one. Three, we call them three-piece BNC connectors, um, just because they got three pieces inside. And they're quite cheap in the market so um, I would reckon to use this BNC three-piece connectors so I'll send the ring first now I'm going to put the cap it goes and sit on the um, inner conductor then I'm going to um, insert the body Now you should hear that click noise. Okay, that's that means that it's connected properly. And if you don't hear that, uh, often if you don't cut enough, then you won't be able to push it, so you won't hear that. So I'm gonna bring the ring back. It looks nice. So we got the BNC ready. Um, now we have to crimp this. So I'm gonna use the crimp tool. Now if you don't know the size. Um, that you should use to crimp always go with the bigger one all right and um, so I normally six in, six mil so we're going to use this first size the biggest in this crimp tool and it's crimped now and most of the people they just do one crimp but to be in the safe side I would rather do two crimps so the first crimp is for the metal part uh, the metal ring and the second one is going to be half of the metal and half of this RG59 or coax cable that's it it's all done hope now. you guys enjoyed the tutorial I would recommend you to practice on this uh, crimping RG59 cable 
and uh, the more you practice the better you're going to be i'll see you in another tutorial bye now